Hi everyone, it's Adam with Milo's Restoration, and today I've got a video for you. It's a furniture flipping video, and it's going to be a little bit different from the normal ones that I do. I'm just kind of trying an experiment with this. I found this cheap coffee table, and basically it's just MDF. There's nothing special to it. It only costed me a few dollars at a thrift store. So I figured worst case scenario, if it didn't work out, then I just had a little experiment for myself here. So I want to try to use some kind of different glass effect on this, and I think I'm going to try Cryolines Color Morph, and I'm going to paint the table base black sapphire, and I'm going to do a blue-purple color morph on the glass. So if that's interesting to you, then keep watching. So I'm going to try to keep the talking to a minimum in this video, but this is just the black base coat that goes on the glass and it doesn't cover very well so get about twice of whatever you think you're gonna need and just be prepared that the spray tips don't always work from can to can so the best thing I find to do is you can take the paint tip and put it in like paint thinner or something like that to clean it out if it gets clogged but yeah that's really the most helpful tip that I can give you I just put a bunch of paint on and just let it sit for a long time and cure. So I sanded, I applied some Bondo glazing putty to the dings and nicks that were shallow, and then sanded again. So this is vinyl sealer that I'm spraying out of my HVLP turbine. I'm using a 1.3 in a five stage turbine and all I do is I just add a little bit of lacquer thinner to the vinyl sealer. If you're looking for a similar product, probably the best, most available thing that you are going to find is going to be um, the vinyl sealer that is by Benjamin Moore's company Duralac and it's just a, basically vinyl sealer is like a BIN type product. It's supposed to be kind of a good all around primer but it's lacquer based instead of, you know, alcohol based. So really that's the big difference and it performs better than BIN in most cases, but it really doesn't matter honestly. For the purposes of what most of us are using this for, BIN is fine, Final Seal is fine. I'd probably do anything but like the basic water based primers, that's really the only thing I'd stay away from. So after two coats of the vinyl sealer and some sanding, I was ready to start painting. And I just wanted to use the regular kind of basic cheap bare satin enamel from Home Depot and it's tinted to black sapphire. It's kind of like a purplish color in my opinion, although people may disagree. As far as like the spray characteristics of this kind of stuff, I just go ahead and thin it at least by 20% water generally speaking. And these paints aren't really great for spraying out of an HVLP turbine. They're more formulated to work with an airless. So they already don't have good spray characteristics to start with. And when I spray spray characteristics, they don't atomize well. 
but also they don't have very good vertical hang, which means you have to be very careful to avoid runs. And if I was doing a higher gloss, like higher sheen finish, I would just skip this stuff. Because unless I was using an airless, it's going to be nearly impossible to get that sheen perfect without any kind of, uh, you know, dry spray or anything like that. But with satin, you can get away with it. But yeah, I just did two coats of it. And I'm actually pretty surprised. The paint is not bad at all. It sands pretty well after a few hours of sitting. And it's just not terrible. I mean, I think it got reformulated recently. So, yeah, it, it wasn't the worst investment. So we're back to the glass top and I got my super fine out on surf prep and sanded it, wiped it off good and I got the Krylon top coat now for the color morph and this is the purple blue finish. And what I'll say is, is oh, even over the black base coat, I feel like I had a pretty good coverage with the black. It still is spotty. So what you need to do is make one pass one way and then go back and make a second pass the other direction and that gives better coverage and it's just easier to work with but you know if i'm going to be honest with you unless i was on a really small surface i really just don't like this stuff it just doesn't spray very well and it's just hard to work with and it's almost impossible to get like a great good kind of sheen after spraying it it just every now and then you'll press the trigger on the can and it'll come out empty it'll just spray air so that obviously is going to cause problems when you're spray finishing. So yeah, this is the last coat, and I just did the best that I could. I was not about to go buy another can of spray paint for this. They're $17 a piece, but it does look pretty cool. I'll say that, you know, all said and done, it kind of changes color, and it's a pretty cool little effect for glass. So if you enjoy this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe.